Then allow me to explain the task. The Council of Mages has entrusted me with resolving a situation along the Gold Road. Several traveling merchants have been found dead along the Gold Road recently, with even more missing. The Council has asked that I put a stop to it. You are going to help me do so. But why us and not the guard? Yeah, why me? As you are new to the guild, you are less likely to be recognized as a member. This may give you an advantage in getting to the root of the problem. Go on then. We believe the killings are the actions of a rogue mage. Battle mages have been sent to the oh, Breen Cross Inn, the only common link between the victims. You are to travel north to the Breen Cross Inn and speak with Ariel Gerard. She will give you further instructions. Nice. Okay, no, 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 this is good. This is good. This fits perfectly with Idris's new kind of drive to do a bit of good in the world. This is this is brilliant. Like, you know, the, Mage, the Mage's Guild doing something other than just sitting around basically being a club for magicians. Um, this is uh, this is good. Idris fully fully endorses this kind of behaviour. Um, so, right, okay, a rogue mage. That does make sense. That would it, that would that would explain why the guild's dealing with it and not the Imperial Watch. So, yeah, tell me about this rogue mage. Some mages do not abide by the principles of the guild and operate outside its boundaries. Many hold little value for the lives of others. The frost burns found <coughs> on the victims in not this me. case indicate a mage was responsible for their deaths. Likely nothing more than simple robbery. These scrolls should provide sufficient resistance to frost magic when and if you do encounter this rogue mage, use them wisely. Oh, thank you very much. I probably won't need him, but thanks very much anyway. Whew, so, um, yeah, so the Breen Cross Inn, I might have passed it on the way here. The inn lies north of Anvil. Speak with Ariel Jurard when you arrive. She will give you further instructions. Do not let your guard down. We do not know whether the inn staff is involved somehow. Very well. Very well. Very well. Very well. Um, I can show you some new things. Tempting, but no thanks. Take care. Very well, Carol. I shall be on my way, and I shall I be. I shall go and do good deeds, and so on and so forth. Stop that gang of women from robbing the town's men. Good show, I say. Oh yes, well you're welcome. Take care. Um, a pleasure to speak with you. Yes, indeed, Sir Felon Relis. Um, you didn't introduce yourself this time for like the twentieth time. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So. Uh, you. Let's get to training. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't say you can't help me train any higher. Have a look at my wares. I I'm wonder sure who the master trainer of alchemy you. actually is in this game. I have no idea. I know who the master trainer of alchemy is in uh, Skyrim, and I know who it is in Morrowind. Skyrim, I think it's Babette in the Dark Brotherhood. And in Morrowind, it's this mad Breton woman who lives in a stronghold full of orcs at the very northern tip of the Ashlands. Um, she's pretty hilarious. Well, she's pretty hilarious if you have the less generic NPC mod installed. Because obviously, if you if you don't have that installed, she just gives you some ordinary, boring, generic dialogue. But if you do have the less generic NPC mod installed, that crazy woman has a really hilarious backstory. Um, so, yeah, no. If you if you're playing Morrowind and you don't have the less generic NPC project installed, you are a fool. It should be mandatory. Bethesda should bloody well introduce it in a patch for Christ's sake. It improves the game like by 500% at least, and that's not an exaggeration. Um, oh, you've got plenty of potions, none of which I can use or afford, so let's see what we can sell you on the other hand. Let's sort this all by value. Some sickness. Ah, yes, you can have that. I'll keep those for now. I'll forget to use them, but I'll keep them anyway. Poison of confusion. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. A fine that. transaction. Health. Oh yeah, I mixed up loads of poisons, didn't I? I'll keep them for now. Uh, maybe I'll ditch... No, 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 actually, that's quite potent, actually. I think I'll keep it. Um, I just need to remember to bloody well use it, don't I? So, 
Maybe I'll try and hotkey one of them. See if that works. Feather. Now keep that. Shield, yep. That, yep. Invisibility, yep. The ghoulish invisibility can go though. So can the draining invisibility. You drive a hard bargain. You're damn right I do, except I'm not actually haggling with you, am I? Oh I am! Wow, okay, and I'm haggling quite a lot with him as well. Um I'm almost tempted to sell off some of these ridiculous amounts of restore health and magic I've got, but I know I'll regret that later, so. No, more invisibility. Insulation. No, no, no. No, no, no. Restore fatigue. Nah. Oh, lovely. Fire salts. No, I'll keep those. Troll fact. Uh, damage health. Now I'll keep that too. Oh, this is the problem now. A master of alchemy. Everything is useful. Um, Nern root. Imp gall. Bloodgrass. Bloodgrass. That really isn't useful. That can go. Wolf meat. Uh, dog meat. Stinkhorn cap. We should really do some more alchemy, shouldn't we? We've got loads of ingredients that we could be using. <sighs> some soul gems. I'll keep them for now. I don't know if oh, I might get rid of the petty ones. Though. They're kind of useless, especially since they don't even have a soul. That's level. a good deal. Oh, I can ditch those. That definitely. seems a fair problem. That. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Thank you for your business. We're a grand or so richer. Bye. Not bad. Just for a few random bits of old tat. Let's let's go. Let's not waste time. Let's not hang around. You know, we spent all morning wasting time and hanging around. So in the inn, you know. So um, yeah, let's let's go. Let's get let's get on with this. Let's do this. Bring across in, right? So must be the second one we passed on our way from out here from Kvatch. One would assume. You know what I've not done in a while? Quick saved. There we go. Elba, come. We have work to do. On my way out. There we go. This is, I believe, the last recommendation as well. The very last one. This is a very nice bit of music. I believe it's both some of Bosa's stuff. Judging by how bleeding loud it is. <laughs> I'll shut up and let you listen to it for a bit. I think the Black Horse Courier just got robbed. Uh, here we are. looking place I suppose. Oh lovely weather. It all suddenly cleared up out of the blue. Oh. You sit and relax for a bit Elba. Let's see what we need to do. We need to meet someone here don't we? Oriel Gerard. Right okay. If you've been good, Way Shrines of Debella may bless your personality. Good to know. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? Um, Nothing. Hi there. Welcome to the Brina Cross Inn. Can I interest you in something to eat, or perhaps a bed for the night? 
Oh, I'm found yeah, I got nothing for now. Knowledge is power. Wow, you train blunt. I wasn't expected. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Oh, you have some very nice bottles of wine, sir. Very nice indeed. Thank you for that. Uh oh, so you're going well. I appreciate your business. No problem. Bye. I think that might be Oriole here. Please go ahead. It's the only What's one that looks like a Breton after all, so... I'm going to sit down over here while she finishes her talking. The have and we'll do some alchemy, because I've kind of forgotten to do that recently, so... Right, okay. That's the health potions mixed up. Uh, what else have we got? We've got anything I can use to restore magic with. No, it's all bloody damage health, doesn't it? Sod. Um, right then, well, maybe we can make a fire. I think if we use the imp gold, yeah, we can make a fire poison. It's kind of like a Molotov cocktail almost. Ha! <laughs> Brilliant. Um, I think maybe I'll start giving my potions fancy names actually from now on. I don't see why not. Could be fun. Um, maybe we'll add something a little bit more potent to it as well. Um, like a bit of Harada. And actually, no, not Harada, because I'm saving that until I find something that does paralysis. Um, a spittle stick and a stinkhorn cap. No, no, I don't want to re restore the magicka of the target, do I? Do it. I'm a bit silly. Also, I can make another restore magicka potion with that, but anyway. Um, I could use a flax seed, I suppose. That would do the same bloody thing, wouldn't it? Um, which is the other thing that restores magicka? Is it the fire salts? Oh well. Um, troll fat, that'll do it. Oh, we'll fortify the personality while we're at it. Just ignore that, I think. Okay, so fire damage 4 points for 18 seconds and damage health 4 points for 15 seconds. Oh my. And apparently they'll look good while they're burning to death. <laughs> Let's call it explosive solution or something. There we go. Very nice. Now I just have to remember to use it at some point. The explosive solution. There we go. Powerful wizards. It could be a dangerous situation. Ah, screw it. She's oh, has she finished talking yet? I think she is, right? Time to make our move. Afternoon. I'm not saying Colovians are dumb. They're just hard headed. Fine. <laughs> Let's have a bottle of wine while we wait, shall we? Yeah, this nice Tamika vintage. Could I will do anything to help her girls out? She recently got oh, Arlene out of the bind. That's nice. And I hear it wasn't completely within guild rules. You don't say. They say that when you murder someone, the Dark Brotherhood comes to you. Fascinating. Mystery. It's how they make Absolutely you. fascinating. Oh my. Without uh, question. Good day. You too. Come on, right, okay, come on. Afternoon. You. Hello, stranger. What can I do for you? Ugh, don't be so Carrie confused. Carrie has sent you, as you know. Go and speak with Kristoff. Rent a room for the night. Once you have your room, I will meet you there. If anyone asks, what? you are a travelling merchant. Nothing more. Do not say otherwise to anyone. No, friend. I'm afraid I don't know the way to Shaden Hall. But good luck in your travels. Please excuse me. You're the worst spy ever. Uh, right, yeah, I suppose I better rent that room, huh? Welcome to the Brina Cross Inn. Can I interest you in something to eat? Or perhaps a bed for the night? Yeah, I'll have a bed, even though it's the afternoon. Let me guess. Travelling on business? You don't look like you're out for a stroll. Yes, yeah, I'd rather not say. Of course. It's none of my business, is it? I merely ask out of concern. If you're a merchant, you should be wary. There have been problems recently. I see. Well, anyway. 
Take care. Let's for the room at least. Let me just check the quest thingy, what's it? Oh yeah, while posing as a traveling merchant, I guess I was supposed to say I was a merchant then, but never mind. Um, We've got this little bit up here. This is a bit pointless, but there it is, nonetheless. Now, which one's ours? That oh, must be this one. Or not. Hang on a minute, just one cotton pick in second. I. This is not the first time this has happened either, is it? Right. Greetings to you. You, you there. Welcome to the. Are you in? Thank you. You Heaven's too. Sake. Right, well. No need to check that place for now. Let's, um... Pardon me. Did I hear you say that you're a traveling merchant? Oh, um, yes, yes, that's me. That's right. Don't you worry, what with the recent killings and all? I'd be ever so scared if it were me. I haven't left the inn in days, just in case. Well, you take care of yourself. I'd hate to hear about another senseless death. Good luck to you. Right, so now, anyway. <clears throat> As I was saying... I think, since we've got a few hours to kill, let's go and, um, let's go and, uh, let's go deal with this. Could... Wow, really? Well, okay. <laughs> hey, shoo! Hiss! Skedaddle! Shoo! Shoo! Bad kitty! Go away! Well, it doesn't seem interested in me. Fair enough. Um... Let's go deal with this Khajiit. That's uh, robbing innocent travellers such as the the, the um, Black Horse Courier lady. Well, that's really robbed me the wrong way, that is. We can start our list of good deeds with... Uh, Hello, kitty. Are you going to attack me? No, you're not. You're just sort of sitting there, aren't you? Fair enough. Live and let live. Um, yeah, that's kind of rubbed me the wrong way. We'll begin our good deeds by dealing with this nefarious outlaw. And it started raining again. How jolly marvellous. Right. You there, sir. Good afternoon. This is a hold-up. Hand it over or die. Good afternoon. This is a hold-up. <laughs> Take it from me if you can, outlaw. Easily done. You'd like to think so, wouldn't you? Do your worst. Ugh. Ugh, pathetic. Well, it seems he was quite successful in his looting. I'd give it back to the victims if I could, but I can't, so I shall simply use it to fund more bandit slaying. I just get off the road. You know what? Well, you know what? Kitabu, where are you? Mountain lion, here, dinner. Dinner is served. You go you go and chow down on him. Because I don't care in the slightest, and at least he would have profited someone. Ew, 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 this is not nice at all. Where's it gone? Where's the cat gone? He's bagging off! Oh well. Yeah. It was actually nasty as hell. I was gonna I was about to say that maybe we'll go hunting for, for some ruins around here or something we could explore, but Ugh, not in this weather, not a chance. No oh, sir. Let's just head inside, I think. Hmm. I suppose we could have a spot of lunch, or you know, what time is it? Yeah, it's it's afternoon still. <laughs> and enjoy the ambient tavern music, I suppose. Wow, we have an armor value of one. Am I not? Hang on a minute. What's going on? I am using my staff, aren't I? I was terribly damaged, though. That's kind of bad. Um, how are the gauntlets doing? They're not. In Good shape either. I really should have repaired them when I got to Anvil. 
Oh man, like why didn't uh, that's such an obvious thing to do as well? Well, you know, I mean, he's no warrior, is he, Idris? He wouldn't perhaps have thought of that to begin with. But yeah, no, come on, yeah, we fight through an entire bloody battlefield at Kvatch and then don't think to repair our armor in the, uh, afterwards. That's kind of ridiculous, but never mind. Uh, well, let's have something to eat, I suppose. Apple. Bread. Mutton. Another orange. Yeah, why not? And, uh... Why not have that other bottle of wine? Why the hell not? Hello, bottle of Cyrilly Brothers wine, and goodbye, indeed. Two bottles of wine in as many hours. The the the, the constitution of high elves must be immense. I have a lot of food Hello. around here. Have you got anything Hello. really nice? Welcome to, eat? to the Brina Cross Inn. Can I interest you in something to eat, or perhaps a bed for the night? We'll see, shall Let's we? Let's do business. Oh my goodness, he has like the largest supply of alcohol this side of the Imperial City, I swear to God. Although, that said, I think maybe that honor might belong to the Black Flag Tavern. <laughs> now I think about it, but uh... Hey now, wait, hey, wait a minute, wasn't... Okay, last time I was in the Black Flag Tavern, I'm sure there was a chap there who was selling a house. On the docks. I'm sure there was. Maybe. Maybe we'll go back there and maybe we'll see if he's still about and see if he hasn't already sold the house. Like, there's no way we can buy that manor in the middle of the town itself because it's way too expensive. But maybe we can afford this little modest looking affair on the Anvil docks. That wouldn't be so bad. Wouldn't be much of a permanent abode. But I, well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, we won't, maybe I won't bother based on the fact that we'll be able to move into the Arcane University soon. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe. It depends on how much the thing costs. If it's really cheap, I suppose I might as well. It'd be a good place to store our things. Uh, uh, well, what have we got then? Pumpkin. My, oh my. Pumpkins are horrible, though. I can't stand pumpkins. I mean... No idea what interest thinks of them, but uh, yeef, no, I really don't like pumpkins. I I, had, I tried some pumpkin soup once and it was vile. Uh, ginseng? What are you selling ginseng for? A cheese wheel. Hmm. The size of a house if I keep eating those. Flour. Just a bag of flour, because why not? Um, eh, no, I'll pass. Be seeing you. What's down here? Is this. Oh, it's private, I assume. What are those things? Yarn. Well. Who are you? Uh, Welcome to the inn. If it's a room you're after, speak with Kristoff. Oh, are you the proprietor, I see. Farewell. Nice. Um. It's a very strange looking fireplace. Anyway. Hail. Yes, hail. Um. Is that you, Elber, out there? Crikey, man. You can find You're a loud horse. They said to mark the place someone has died. I see. Oh, that's kind of grim. Be seeing you. I didn't know that, actually. That's kind of. Yeah, that's kind of grim. What's going on with you? I mean, just, ah, this is my room, and hello, by the way. Excuse me. Don't say it like that. You've already given me the wrong impression with this whole plan to begin with. All right, it should be safe to speak here. Once you've rested here, you need to continue along the gold road, heading east towards Kavach. I shall be following out of sight, along with a fellow battle mage. Make no attempts to speak to us. Trust that we will protect you. Should you be confronted by this cowardly mage, do not hesitate to protect yourself by whatever means possible. Oh, believe me, I won't. Once the mage has revealed himself, 
We will step in and settle a matter quickly. Now get yourself some sleep. You'll need to be well rested. But it's the afternoon. Mm. There's no. not time for sleeps. It's, it's 3 p.m. Stop being so ridiculous.